Stability AI has just dropped version two of their music generation platform, and it claims to be the first commercially viable AI music generator. Over the past few weeks, we've seen quite a few text to song platforms update and start creating truly spectacular audio tracks, including the market leader Suno, who's just updated to version three. You can watch my review of Suno right here. They are currently considered the leader in the field, but Stability is no slouch. Their new platform gives you plenty of free music generation, so we're going to see if it's good enough to take the crown. We're going to look at pricing, their prompt helper tool, song to song, create a few songs together, and then we're going head to head with Suno. To celebrate together, we have a very special theme from Stability AI to kick things off. Hit it, Stability. Let's take a look at the announcement from Stability AI themselves to see what promises they make before we test to see if they actually keep those promises. Here's the key takeaways from this brand new announcement. Number one, they set a new standard in AI generated music. Specifically, you can get a three minute song at 44.1 kilohertz. That's the audio level of a CD. That's the standard by which most music is compared. There are higher quality levels of audio than 41.1 kilohertz, but that's the standard that we're looking for for commercially viable music. If you've listened to Suno and really dug in, the songs are good, but it's not quite there yet as far as quality. When you separate the tracks, you can tell that the vocals are AI generated, even though they're amazing. It's not quite CD quality, so this is one of the things we're going to be testing. Second, they have audio to audio generation. This is crazy. You can upload your own song and have them remix it, tweak it, and change it. This is something I'm excited to change. No one else has this feature yet. We love image to image on other platforms, so we're going to try song to song here. That's one of the things we're going to test today. And the next thing that's interesting is that they actually say how the model was trained. Most text to music models keep the way they were trained secretive, probably because they're trying to avoid laws like the one that just passed in Tennessee, the Elvis law that says it's a misdemeanor to create music that sounds like someone else. Very tricky law. I'm not sure if it's enforceable. I did cover it on the news, which you can see me talk about in this previous video. The important thing is they're comfortable enough to say we used audio sparks. We allowed people to opt out and we actually paid the creators. This is cool. It's very interesting to see how this can be implemented. This is something that I think I'm quite okay with. The idea that when the model generates music, it sees who the music came from and then compensates them if that's what's happening. I have a feeling they just paid people a flat fee up front for the ability to use and remix their music, which is okay, but it doesn't give them money down the line, but that may be the only viable version of this right now for the way these models charge. And we'll see that we look at pricing in just a minute. Additionally, you can start creating stuff right now. This is my favorite type of announcement. Let's dig a little bit deeper into the announcement. You can now do a full length three minute song with structured compositions, intro development, outro, as well as stereo sound effects. They have some samples that we can listen to right here on the announcement page. We'll take a quick listen, but always remember, they're going to put the absolute best of the best of their generations here. Let's try their beautiful piano arpeggio. There are a lot of effects on the piano there. Effects can either be used to hide low quality music or to enhance high quality music. And I'm suspicious that was a little heavy on the effects for something that's just piano. If you're going to demonstrate how good the piano is, let me just hear the piano. Let's try an electronic song. This is okay. I am noticing no vocals. This is something I'm wondering about if we can generate songs with vocals. That's one of the shining points of Suno. If Stability AI can't do vocals, they have a major problem. Let's try Low Funk. We're already finding the first limitation here with Stability. This is something I was suspicious of because they don't mention it. They say lo-fi hip hop beat. Now, they do share how their stuff is created. They show their autoencoder diagram. None of the stuff really matters to me. I'm a pass-fail kind of guy. Either it works or it doesn't. 
they put together a YouTube channel, which 24 seven will play tracks by them. I'll link to that below this video so you can check it out if you want to see what's playing right now. Let's take a look at Audio Sparks to see exactly what this platform provides and how Stability Music was trained. This is the Audio Sparks website. This claims to be, as they all do, the music that powers Hollywood. It's an interesting claim. It says it's for major films, TV shows, commercials, and branding. This is music designed specifically for commercial use or for licensing purposes. So it makes sense that this is who they would approach to get the music to train their model. What I'm really looking for is what type of music they have available. The design, let's be honest, it's not very modern. Let's kind of ignore that and see what type of music they're creating. Do they provide vocals? That's what I'm looking for here. And here we go, hot vocal music. They have a bunch of songs. Let's see if we can just play one of these. Here's Angels Calling. Let's see if it will play. Preview. That's a very ethereal vocal. It's almost faded into the background. I want to see if there's one where the vocals are very forward. I'm going to try one more just to give it a chance. Let's try Shakti Cosmic Dance. Okay. Two things very exciting about that song. Number one, the vocals are forward. Number two, they're not in English. I believe that's Hindi. Let me know in the comments below if I've detected the wrong language. I'm guessing based on what it sounded like to me and the word Shakti, but I could be dead wrong. If I'm wrong, please let me know in the comments so you can correctly identify the language because that's a great song. The question is, can we replicate this quality of song inside of Stability Music? They did train it on models that have vocals. So why aren't they offering vocals? Let's find out. When you sign up for Stability Music, you do have to read this uh, agreement. And I want to take a quick look at the terms of service because this is really important. What are you allowed to do and not allowed to do with this music? The important section is here under commercial use of services. Now, I'm not a lawyer, so if you're going to do these things, you need a lawyer to check things out. But I read this before deciding if I was going to include music from them in the video. This is not a commercial video. My channel is not monetized. It's too small. I am not advertising. I don't have a sponsor for this video. I'm not an affiliate for Stability Audio, so there's no monetization for this video. This is pure content, which means it meets the requirement for the basic level plan because I'm not currently on the paid plan. We're testing this out together to see what's available for free. But let's dive into it. The key sentence is here. We encourage basic tier users to make creative, non-commercial use of the content. You may have a more limited experience, such as certain limitations for length, content by the services and other things. I don't get that. I was able to make a three minute song. Maybe the quality was limited, but certainly not the length. Paid users may generate content for some, but not all commercial uses. Please refer to our pricing page to view the uses restrictions for different tier plans. So let's take a look at that. We have four tiers. The legal language really made me think that this was gonna be a much more restrictive pricing model. There's really two prices. At free, you can do personal license, and at pro, you get a commercial license, and every tier above that. I did wonder if Stability would have an overall pricing because they have a $20 a month model that includes their image generation and their text generation. It would be interesting if they just merged them all together into a single package. I don't really want to pay for two Stability licenses. I would pay for a single subscription because I do a lot of work with different tools, but to have one at $20 a month and one at $12 a month, I'm not going to generate 500 tracks a month, but if you are, or if you're going to generate 1,350 or 4,500, well, then it makes sense. They don't limit you in any other way. The only limitation is the number of tracks. They're all limited to three minutes. Here's the licenses. You have three tiers, which is personal creator and enterprise. If you want to use the music in commercial products above 100,000 mechanical units, if they're using the old measurement, they're actually measuring how many CDs you print. So if you print 100,000 CDs, you can do creator. If you print 100,000 and then one more, you need to be on an enterprise plan. There are other ways of measuring that now that are more modern, which may be streams, which may be downloads, which may be how many times a commercial is played. If you're doing a major commercial, then you want to be in the enterprise level. 
It's a little bit tricky here at the personal level. You can do non-commercial projects at the creator. You can do commercial, commercial music releases, social media, personal podcast videos and commercial products below 100,000 MAU. Because I'm on the personal plan, I'm only going to play the song from them in this video, demonstrating their product and showing how cool it is, not in a monetized video. Would I be allowed to do this if I was running an ad? I'm not really sure, but since I'm not, I believe I'm in the clear. These are their different plans. If you're going to use the music commercially, if you're going to make it the theme song for your podcast, this is how you would do that. You can cancel your membership anytime that you're generating a pro hire to cover on the original license after cancellation. That's really nice to know that you can pay the $12, create that perfect theme song, cancel your subscription. You still have the right to use it under that commercial license as long as you do under 100,000. So if you want an enterprise subscription to get in touch, if you're doing fortune 500 advertisements, that's so specific. This is exactly the area where they're still figuring things out. And this to me is reasonable. They're not really sure because this is a new market for them, how they're supposed to price, what level equals the middle tier, what level needs enterprise. They're a little bit murky. If you're a fortune 501 company, does that mean you can be in the lower plan? Not really sure. They are trying to use some record company numbers when they talk about mechanical units. We'll see how things go. But overall, I consider their pricing pretty reasonable for the ability to create 500 songs a month for $12. This is 1,500 minutes of content. That's a lot. <laughs> you have to create more than 15 songs a day to hit this limit, and we're certainly not going to do that. Now that we've seen all the promises, let's try the tool itself. On the free plan, I get 20 credits a month. I've already used two, so I have 18 left. I still have the ability to make nine more songs. It costs two credits per song. Why doesn't this cost one credit per song? Instead of 500 songs a month, you get 250 songs a month with the pro plan simply because a song costs two credits if you're using AudioSpark 2. Maybe if you use AudioSpark 1, yeah. That's a little bit tricky to me. It should be clear that if you want to use the latest generation model, you get half as many songs. I'm not really interested in this version one. I want to test version two. Let's create a song. We're going to use their prompt library just to create something that has an idea that is interesting. Let's go for pop. And it says pop. Pop electric ballad, billboard, drum machine, bass, lush synthesizer pads, synthesizer arp, synth bass, vocal, sample chops, percussion, honest, heartfelt, melancholic, vibe, cool, modern, atmospheric, 115 beats per minute. This is not how I would describe a pop song. But let's see what happens. I can just hit generate and we're going to find out what happens with this song. My new pop song is ready. It created in less than a minute, which is nice. We have three minutes of audio. We're going to hit play and see what it sounds like. Let's skip ahead a little bit and see if it gets a little bigger. I find it hard to get big room music from this tool. The two times I've tested all the samples are really slow, downbeat, atmospheric. I wonder if it can make a fast song. That's going to be our next test. Let's see if we can get something a little bigger. All of these are slow genres. Trip hop is very slow. That's 90 beats per minute. It's going to create something slow for all of these. If I let it do chill hop, that's also a slow genre. I'm trying to create a very specific sound here. This is dark drum and bass, MC vocals. This is the Bristol sound. Bristol has a very specific drum and bass sound, which is very fast. That is 180 beats per minute with someone rapping over the top of it, obviously with a British accent. This is a really cool genre. And I wonder if he can do something that's a little more energetic. I want it to be high energy. I'm tired of these slow songs. I think creating slow songs might be easier and I want to do something harder. I want to see if this can actually go head to head with Suno. All right, our song is fresh out of the oven. That took about a minute and a half. Let's fire it up and see if we get that fast drum and bass sound.
Let's cut to the chase. It's okay, but that's not a song. That's a track. When I see that the waveform looks the same for the entire song, I know that there's no breakdown, there's no buildup, there's no intro, outro, those other elements that are critical to a song. When we look at our other song waveform for our pop song, we have an intro, we have a buildup, we have a little bit of a breakdown, and then we have a buildup again. This is where the drums fall out, and this is the end of the song. So it has a beginning, middle, and end. That didn't happen with our drum and bass song. We did get that high energy sound, but it wasn't able to create something really good. It's not able to create vocals. So it's not able to compete in that category with Zuno. But if you're someone who wants to sing over a track or MC over a track, it might be possible to create something really good. Let's create one more really good song. And then we're going to try song to song to see what happens if we feed it the type of song we like. I'm going to create a house song. It always gives it the BPM. I would usually say house is a little bit faster, like 130. Progressive house is 140. This is a very specific type of house. This is a Biza house. This is where people from England go on vacation in the summer. So it's a specific sound. This isn't Chicago house. This isn't Detroit house. This is an American house. This is a subgenre of European house. The Biza is in Spain. So it's not going to be what you're expecting if you grew up on Detroit house. But Let's see how it sounds out when we get some Balearic House. Our Balearic House track is ready. Let's fire it up and see how it sounds. No one's ever going to mistake this for something created by a high-level producer, a really great DJ, or an amazing electronic band. It's okay, but it's not blowing my mind. We have some things we can do to adjust the song. We can reuse the prompt. We can copy the prompt. We can use this song as an input to generate a new song for their song to song. We've now seen the limitations of what they can do with text to audio. There are no vocals. I'm going to show you that Suno can do that later on in the video. Let's test their song to song feature by clicking add audio. They have a little demonstration video. This is really not meant to be a song to song tool. You can convert a guitar into a bass or a guitar into a piano. That's really dumb. You've been able to do that for 40 or 50 years. That's not a new technology. That's not interesting at all. I can think of more than a dozen ways to do that. You can use an effects pedal. You can use MIDI. You can use other converters that have existed, pure technology converters. There's no AI element. When you're converting instrument to instrument, you take the instrument, you convert it into notes, what's written on the page, the music, and then you play that out through a different instrument. There's no AI element to there. That's really stupid. Sorry, stability, that's embarrassing that you're calling that a feature. Let's look at their monthly allowance of uploads. You get three minutes, which means I need a song less than three minutes for my plan. At the higher plans, you get 30, 60, or 90 minutes. This is where you have that upload audio limit. If you upload audio that infringes copyright, this upload will still count against your monthly allowance. This is weird. If I upload a song I like and say, make a song that kind of sounds like this, that's not a copyright infringement. However, I don't think that's what this tool does. I believe this tool would simply take that song and make it reuse all the same notes and redo the same song, not write a song that's similar. I'm not going to test this. I have a lot of problems with the way this is structured. I don't think the tool is useful. It's not what I thought it was. It's not song to song. It's audio clip to audio clip. It's part to part. I can convert a guitar recording into something else as long as their AI doesn't think it came from another song. That's not a road I want to go down, so I'm not going to test this tool. As far as I'm concerned, this is a major loss. I really don't like when platforms add a feature that doesn't really do the useful version of it. You might as well not have it. I would rather they don't even have this feature. They just do text to audio. I'm done with this. Let's go and compare them to Suno and see if Suno can blow them out of the water, which I think Suno's about to do. This is the Suno dashboard. The last time I tested this platform, free users only got access to their version two algorithm. Since then, they've now given version three to everyone. Everyone can create a two minute song. I believe the reason Stability Audio is bragging about their three minutes is to directly compete with this. Say their free plan's a little better than Suno's free plan. 
Unfortunately, right now, because I'm on the free plan, I can't create. It says due to system upgrades, generations of Champly only enabled for subscribers. Let's go to their Explore dashboard and just see what some new songs sound like. Let's look at the trending page. Here we go. Let's dance to the future. Funk electronic EDM. Let's play this one. Let's be honest with each other. This blows stability music out of the water. It's not even close in my opinion. Let's try this. They're doing a cyberpunk drum and bass version of Come As You Are by Nirvana. I'm surprised that they let someone get the word Nirvana in the description. The person must have edited it because you're not allowed to say the name of a band inside of Suno. You're only allowed to say a genre. Some good things and bad things about that song. It's very interesting to do a remix of an old Nirvana song. The phrasing is wrong. That's why the cadence of the vocal sounds a little bit weird because they weren't able to program that in when they provided the lyrics. The background music is so much better and the singing and the background music were in sync with each other. I was waiting for the drum and bass breakdown, but it was dubstep. It was the wrong genre, but it's so much better than stability music. Like it's just not even close. They're so far apart. Honestly, Stability should have just bought Suno if they wanted to have a good music tool because Suno is so far ahead of them. They're able to do vocals. They're able to have phrasing. The songs are a lot more complicated. I've tested Suno in the past in a lot of different languages. You should definitely watch my full review video. Overall, Suno is the game changer. I was planning on running the same prompt in Suno and inside of Stability AI, but Suno is not letting me create music right now. Makes sense. There's a ton of people covering this platform after I did with the version three update. I'm sure it's got an inundation of new free members. So they've maxed out their servers or having to do an update. Seems reasonable. I was hoping that because it's the middle of the night, I would get some access, but I wasn't able to create a song. These demonstration songs, which are just created by other users, are so far ahead of stability music that it's not even close. I can't see a single reason for anyone in the world to spend a single penny on stability. This may be why they've had some shakeups on the board of directors and with the CEO and with a bunch of their high level developers, their path to monetization is not working. And this is why this product is so far behind Suno and it's so far behind even Suno Auto, which is another free alternative that I don't think it should be on your radar. I always want to give an honest opinion. I would love to have given you guys a great experience. I was hoping for something much better. When there's something really good on the market, you have to pay attention to that when you release your own product and they're not even close. I encourage you to check out Suno. I'll put a link to that below. Their free plan is so good. Hopefully their upgrades get caught up so that this temporary block disappears and you can generate music and just see how good it is. Definitely encourage you to watch my previous video to see what's possible. If you found this video useful, please hit the like button. Whether you found it useful, educational, entertaining, that helps this channel to grow and means more people will see this video. Thank you so much for staying all the way to the end. If you hit the subscribe button, well, you're going to see more content from me appearing in your feed. And if you hit that bell, every time I post a video, you'll get notified. I appreciate every single one of you that hangs around all the way to the end. I do personally respond to every single comment. That's the beauty of a smaller channel. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you for making it all the way to the end. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching one of my videos. Hit the like button and then I've got a couple of sweet videos that I think you're going to like. I've got one here and another one over here. You're going to love them.